say that you're trying to describe this set of numbers, it's in between negative three and five. Okay, now one way you might do this is you might say, well, hmm, we can see that the values are greater than negative three, so meaning to the right of negative three, and they're less than or equal to five. Okay, now when you have a compound inequality, what you can do is you can write these together as one inequality, and usually, you know, this basically this occurs when the, the values are in between two numbers. Okay, so it's the set of all points in between these two values. Now, what you're gonna notice here is that I'm gonna put these together as a compound inequality, but when you write a compound inequality, you wanna write it such that the inequality signs are less than or less than or equal to signs, like this. You don't wanna write it with greater than signs. You don't wanna write it like where one sign's pointing one direction, the other sign's pointing the other direction. These are not correct. What you want is you want them to be less than signs, pointing to the left, and you want the smallest number to be over here on the left, and you want the largest value to be over here on the right, and your variable is in between. Now let's see if we can understand it a little bit better. So you can see that if I cover this portion up here, x is greater than negative three, meaning that it's to the right of negative three. See how it opens to the x? And at the same time, x is less than five. See how it's pointing to the x, x is smaller. And in this case, this particular example, x is less than or equal to five.